Oh man, we're live. Hey, I want to thank everybody for actually joining us tonight. Uh, I'm, I'm running crazy. Um, um, if you don't know, uh, Sam just left. Uh, so Sam is, a, is an actual ABC alumni who's hearing impaired. Uh, so uh, from time to time, he'll stop in and, uh, and he'll, he'll let me, uh, I, I give him some instructions. Uh, like I say, with him, he's hearing impaired. So he doesn't have the liberty to be able to actually uh, uh, get a lot of the stuff that we get. Uh, just, just all for, cause they, they have to have the CC, the closed caption, to actually print. So he's usually a week or two behind everything because it takes him a week or two to get everything up. Uh, and then it doesn't translate all the way for him. So um, uh, about once a month, he'll come in and he have a list of stuff that he will need, he asked me to explain it to him uh, uh, better. And so that's what we just got finished doing. And, uh, and he wanted me to let everybody know that uh, he, uh, he's, he's enjoying it. Um, he's, uh, he, 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 he's wondering if he was growing too fast. Uh, he's, doing, he's doing about five to seven stops per day. Um, but now he's, he's realized, and he, he, uh, we, were to, uh, we were talking, he has uh, he, he he put so much effort into the technical side. He's great technical and he loved it. He loves the challenge. But now he's actually now working on the business side. It, it, just like everybody else, he said uh, the technical stuff he can fix the appliances, but he wants his business to run smooth. Um, he he's dealing with like everybody else, the calls uh, overbooked, and he said it, it, uh, he he getting home seven o'clock at night. And he's having to uh, to actually uh, he has to actually uh, have his daughter and them to actually do all his uh, calling people and stuff. And he said right now he just need to get it organized. So that's what him and I was doing. Uh, I was helping him uh, organize uh, his business and showing him uh, a, a great way he could do it uh, with the, uh, with the challenges that he run into actually being hearing impaired. And um, he actually wants to get into the seal system class. Um, I'm going to talk to Mona um, uh, uh, tomorrow. He uh, he wants to do SSMG Academy. Uh, so, but we got to find, we got to be able to set him up with an interpreter like he came here. Uh, so, um, um, we're going to, I'm going to find out uh, when the next SEAL system class he's going to have. And, um, and so we can actually start doing that and getting him an interpreter. Uh, so when he comes there, so. Uh, I, I, I help him uh, set that set that up with Mona. So uh, so he's getting ready to jump into the seal system. We're gonna go out and do some together, and then uh, we'll do two of them together, and then from there. So I gotta jump back in the truck to get uh, to get Sam um, accustomed to the seal system. So when he gets down there, um, uh, and he and he's paying for that interpreter. He, he'll know exactly what he needs to ask uh, Richard and them and, and Austin uh, when they get down there. So I'm excited. He uh, he's going to the next level, do seal systems, and uh, he 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 just want to let everybody know that uh, he's doing well. And uh, and this other thing too, he told me too. Uh, he said uh, he, he's very very smart, very mechanically inclined, and uh, he said he always knew he was supposed to uh, to be well off and rich. But uh, unfortunately, because of uh, his, his challenges and stuff, he said companies had already always kind of taken advantage of him, and he couldn't, couldn't he couldn't quite take control of his uh, his earning capacity. And that was the thing he loved about this. He loved that you know he 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 he, he can he can he can command the money that he's supposed to get, and people pay him um, according to what he's supposed to get. And he loved the fact that he has uh, uh, the alumni so close and the mentors so close. And that he can actually, uh, whenever he has his questions, he can actually uh, save them up, and he'll come down here, and we can spend an hour or two actually going over his questions and uh, and tell him he gets a, a good understanding of, of what's going on. So it was doing. He's doing very well. Doing very well. Um. So uh, to, uh tonight I'm gonna be, and because of that, with him and I going. Matter of fact, he just walked out the door. Just walked out the door. Uh. So with that. Um, I didn't get a chance to actually get everything the way I wanted to have it for tonight's discussion, but I got enough of it because I do it every day. I got enough of it to, 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 to give a discussion because this is what we're, uh, we've been talking about in my household for the last uh, 
the last uh the last probably month or so. Um so uh I've got something I wanna put up uh, put up on the screen. Um I don't see if I can get a screenshot of this. And I got I gotta take the person's phone numbers and stuff off. Uh that's the other thing too. Uh I get a lot of uh okay. Uh um okay uh i'm gonna see if i can get a screenshot of this and uh what I, uh uh what this uh what this is uh i was telling some i was telling some people uh about some of the some of the conversations i have with people outside of uh outside of Actual uh, the alumni with a plant boot camp. Uh, I have these I have these conversations now with the uh, alumni on the plant boot camp. But uh, also, this is something that uh, that I, I've done quite regularly, uh, just with friends and stuff, uh, 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 friends and stuff in my actual uh, network, as you would say. Just you know, I, I know a lot of people tell you. Uh, 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 a lot of people tell you that they have friends that, that do stuff and and whatnot, but uh, uh, I'm serious when I say this that I have friends that actually do this type of stuff. And I say I got friends that got businesses that spend millions of dollars on their businesses. Um, I'm really uh, serious about. It. So uh, this is uh, one conversation I've been having with uh, one of um, he's an associate of one of my good friends that uh, that, uh, that have you know y'all met Howard. Uh, um, him and Howard are, are friends. I've, I've known him through Howard, but uh, so Howard uh, uh, gave him my information, and him and I've been talking um, back and forth. Uh, he he was getting ready to buy uh, a, a franchise, a ice cream franchise, and he's getting ready to purchase. Now he's thinking more about the homemade. After him and I've been talking, and he uh, he's now uh, thinking about purchasing a building. I'm just going to show you all. Uh, some of the conversations that uh, that uh, I have with um, with uh, with with uh, real live people who, uh, who who do this stuff for uh, for uh, a living and spend really uh, lots of money into this stuff. Um, let's see here. Make sure that's the right one that I'm uploading. I'm gonna upload both of them. That way, I know I have it in. And this right here is a uh, actual conversation that him and I uh, was having today. Uh, so I, I'll see if I can pull it up and just show you all uh, what what he's talking about uh, doing. And and what I'm using this for is to contrast uh, when I, I I have people who really really do business. When I say people who really do business, there we go. And, uh, work. I have I have friends that uh, that really do business, just like the appliance boot camp people. Uh, Y'all really do business. Uh, we have I have people who really do business who value my information. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna share this screen right here. Okay, this is him and I uh, talking today. Um, uh, he is telling me about building. That he saw, um, he's currently paying eight seventy five a month for this lease payment. Uh, for this is where he have his uh, his uh, his current business. He, he owns a, he owns some he owns some franchise insurance agent. Uh, they ain't get the name. That's good. So he owns several insurance agency uh, franchises, and so he he has one uh, building that uh, he's taking. One of his agencies, he's looking to move that building, that agency, into uh, this building with the ice cream pot. So he found a building that he's going to pay seven hundred thousand for. So this one might going to invest a million dollars. Um, he, he's looking to put both of them in there. Um, his um, uh, his uh, his ice cream parlor and his insurance agency. Um, and so I'm just telling him um, uh, about it, and we we have more in depth conversation. But I'm just showing you all. This is somebody who's getting ready to uh, pay seven hundred thousand dollars cash, um, and 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 is looking for me 
to give them insight on this business. And, and he, he's been north of a million dollars in, into this. And, um, and I'm one of, of several people that, uh, he, he's, uh, he, uh, that he has in his circle that he's getting, he's getting wise counsel from, um, before, uh, uh, before he makes the decision. And the reason I want to say that is to what I'm doing now. Uh, right now, you all see the uh, uh, the uh, ice cream parlor that I have next door. Uh, Y'all seen that from <laughs> from the rubble that we built it out of. Matter of fact, this little small town has been built around my ice cream parlor and Jeff uh, Coffee Shop. Uh, we were the two anchor businesses that that this built this town is starting to get built around. Uh, so, with that being said. Um, I'm at the point now where uh, I'm uh, I'm going to re release the ice cream parlor um, course for people who wants to get it. Uh, this week they're actually wrapping the trailer, so uh, once they finish wrapping the trailer, uh, I'll be releasing the course. And if you want to buy the course, you be able to buy the ice cream parlor course. Uh, for those of you all who have bought the appliance boot camp online, uh, the the course box bundle it comes automatic for you all so you all just keep on getting 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 <laughs> and what's going to be included in this ice cream parlor uh course you're going to get the brick and mortar course uh how to run a br brick and mortar uh you're going to get uh the food trailer uh if you want to do a concession trailer you'll get that you'll get the actual way i've done it uh for a whole year without the trailer where we've done it with a tent <laughs> and a deep freezer you'll get that uh you also would get um i'm in the uh, process right now of actually getting a, a storage container um built out uh so you would get that you would not only get the how to uh go out and buy the land but you also uh is going to get the what's it called you're going to get the actual uh uh layout so i'm paying the, i'm paying the architect engineer to actually lay out uh the actual trailer so uh, with that, you'll be able to take that to your uh, 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 planning department. You won't have to you'll save you several thousand dollars from taking the plans, having the architect draw you the plans. I have it already drawn out, so you have all of that stuff. Um, I'm going to take you through the process of how, how you actually get it, get it approved and set on your actual property if you want to buy property. You're going to get all of that, how to uh, set up the ice cream parlor business and everything. Uh, so uh, look for that on Monday to go live. Uh, to the ice cream parlor uh, course, if you want to buy that. And going into that, that's what I want to tell you all. Uh, if, if if you're doing a appliance repair right now, and um, you, you're into the skilled trades, you got to have some place to, to retire at. Uh, like I say, this town is kind of built around the ice cream parlor and uh, and um, and the coffee shop, um, coffee on racing. Uh, you know, we were pretty much the two anchor businesses. The jury store was here uh, before we got here, uh, Selma Jury, they're doing very well. But Jeff and I came back and brought some new energy here. Uh, and so with that, that, that brought a lot more people here. Um, and Selma Jury done a great renovation on their stuff. Everybody's doing great stuff here. So with that being said, uh, if you if you got to have some place to put your retirement money, if you're somebody who's 55, 60 years old, and you're coming, uh, getting ready to retire, and you, you don't have enough investments to actually uh, to make it um, through retirement, you got to find something that actually to do in your retirement age that, that can generate you enough cash flow to let it go, to, uh, to, make, to, make, to make it, uh, to, to keep living out here. Uh, if you got college kids, uh, or high school kids, and you're looking for some, something for them to do, uh, this is a great investment for them too. Uh, so, like I said, my daughter, um, she's actually right now uh, going to school. She's uh, majoring in, in nursing. And um, and we're actually looking at some of the stuff that what nursing can actually make. Uh, let me pull up some of this stuff right here. And we'll, we'll kind of look at it together. And what you can do with nursing. Uh, so before I go there, uh, I want to let everybody know uh, the appliance repair, uh, appliance boot camp, is still going on. You can get the uh, appliance boot camp. 
uh, let me tell them I'm uh, I'm doing uh, doing my show. That's the other thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna we're gonna have to get somebody to do a course on Google. <laughs> How to use Google? Everything that you want, you can find it on Google. Uh, but uh, I think uh, some of, some of you all might think that I'm your personal Google uh, assistant. Uh, hold on a sec. Let me let them know I'm doing show. Um, okay. All right. Some of you all, <laughs> some of you all got to learn how to use Google, how to go find information. <laughs> uh, uh, I know it's sometimes it's late if you've been in in the factory all your life, and they uh, and you didn't have a need to actually use the computer and stuff. You got to get your your daughter, your granddaughter, your niece. Somebody gonna have to get there and start showing you how to uh, take these computer skills. I used to laugh when they used to say, uh, "You can go take a course uh, on." Um, on Excel and, and Word and all that. So who in the world don't know how to use Excel? We definitely need somebody to put together something on Google. How you just Google something and find the information that you need. Um, and, and for people, uh, middle-aged people who happen now to, uh, you running your business, unfortunately, you can't run your business on, on pencil and paper no more. You're going to have to be able to use the computer, and you're going to have to get comfortable using the computer and getting around. Um, you know, I, I, I have some, uh, I have some uh, patience, but I can't be your personal Google person. You know, I tell you what you need, you got to go find. <laughs> so if I, I give this person that for right now because it's, it's a language barrier, um, because it's a language barrier. But after that, I'm going to tell them, hey, you're going to have to uh, get, get on Google and uh, learn how to use some Google stuff. But uh, getting back to uh, the appliance boot camp, appliance boot camp is still going strong. Right now, we're just in, I'm just in the ice cream parlor season right now. So that right there is where a lot of my attention is. So uh, what I do, uh, I actually uh, I actually talk about what I got going on and uh, uh, going on in day to day. So that way, you know, it's easy for me to just turn on the mic and talk. So when days like these pop up where I'm actually helping somebody do something, pretty easy. I could have talked about uh, what I was doing with, uh, which I did, what I was doing with Sam, two seconds before I hit the live button. Or I could talk about what I've been doing for the last two weeks with my uh, daughter and I. Uh, but also what I'm doing, uh, be on the lookout for this. We're in the process of when school starts back, um, appliance boot camp, we're going to actually be going out to the um, – to the high schools. Um, um, like I say, uh, I have a, a, a couple of warranty companies and people who have came on board and they want to do some great things like getting people back into the skilled trade, especially these young high school kids. Um, and so what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing a, a push uh, to get appliance boot camp where in several school systems we're going to start off um, where they have some pool and I have some pool. Um, we're going to actually start off uh, trying to get appliance boot camp to be counted as a credit. You know, back in the days when we were going to school, you, um, your uh, juniors and seniors were able to, uh, to leave school uh, uh, a half a day. And they could go out and work. And they actually got credit hours for actually uh, going out working. And, um, and so they, they went towards their graduation. It was, it, was like a, uh, it was like a class. You know, uh, I went to the electrical the vicar, I went to residential wine, and some people uh, who are doing health care, they actually got to go to the uh, got to go to the actual uh, hospital and work. Um, so and they got paid for it, and they uh, and they got uh, credits. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to actually be working um, um, with the, uh, the third party warranty companies, uh, appliance boot camp, and what we're going to do, we're going to say okay. They can take this course, applies boot camp, and then they can go out in the afternoons and they can actually start to run their service call. And they can actually start putting their business together. It's an entrepreneurship thing. And we can, we're going to pay them $50 an hour, what it amounts to, to actually get them out of school a half a day uh, and during the week where they can actually start doing what applies boot camp says, doing one or two stops per day 
and they're learning the skill trades, they're making money, and eventually once they graduate, then we can usher them in to be a full-time entrepreneurs. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, uh, that's what we're going to be doing and pushing through the high school. And we're in the process now of uh, setting up those talks. And um, and uh, so uh, you'll see more of that coming. Um, and so if you want to get into Applies Boot Camp, I'll tell you, uh, now is the time to get into it. Because once we once we make that switch, and uh, and I, I and I, I start going into the school system, and if, if we get going into that school system, I'll be honest, that probably would be uh, where most of my attention would be at. Um, I, I I was telling somebody, um, matter of fact, I was talking to Miss Ward. <laughs> Me and Miss Ward was talking last week, and we were just saying, hey, you know, it's tired, it's tired from pulling people to the to the well. <laughs> Is tired from pulling them to the well, and so uh, especially grown men and grown women having to constantly, you know, they say, "I've been watching you for five, six years." Uh, okay, uh, you 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 watched Applied Boot Camp for five or six years. You you've seen you you've seen countless people, uh, not five or six years since the day we started when it was five hundred dollars. So about two to three years they've been watching Applied Boot Camp, and they've seen countless people come through and seen their story. And seeing, uh, and, and seeing people become millionaires. And then they'll tell me, well, I got a couple of questions I need to ask. <laughs> what more do you want me to do? I can, if you've been watching it and you've you know, seen all of these people come through, all the stuff that Applies Repair have done for them, I don't know what questions I, I can even ask you, answer. Uh, I, I don't know what else you could ask me that I, I, I need to answer. Uh, to, uh, and I, I, I just don't know. So if that uh, once uh, if we if we get this thing going with the uh, high school kids and we can get into the school system and get those kids pushed off and stuff, um, uh, I, I might just say, hey, uh, those those grown men and women that didn't uh, that didn't get in didn't, didn't get in the boat, they might we might be lifting the <laughs> lifting it up and, and say, hey, it's time to sell off because uh, uh, they they just they just not going to go and and put our focus on the youth, the next generation. That's uh, coming up behind us, uh, and it's start trying to save them uh, because, uh, like I say, it, it, it gets hard um, having to try to sell uh, sell that uh, sell that to somebody. Uh, especially, you know, like I say, uh, I could easily uh, I uh, I could easily uh, be charging. If somebody going to spend a million dollars, get ready to make a million dollar investment into doing something um, like what I'm doing, um, they get ready to make a million dollar investment. I could easily charge them fifteen, twenty thousand dollars, and say, "Hey, uh, I'm, I'm gonna walk you through the whole process." <laughs> you know, hey, you know, give, give me, give me, give me a month, and I'll walk you through the whole process, and they'll do it easily. They say, "Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna do that. For, uh, you're gonna walk me through the whole process. I'll do it because that's how much they'll pay a franchise. They'll pay a franchise a uh, hundred thousand to uh, walk them through the process to get them up and running, and only making a hundred thousand, maybe two hundred thousand a year off." Off of that, didn't have to pay the franchise, you know, royalties forever. And I can say, hey, instead of you paying that franchise, one hundred fifty to one hundred thousand dollars uh, to to walk you through the process. Hey, give me fifteen, give me twenty, I'll walk you through the process. Uh, and I have I have those type of texts all day long from people who who who's doing it, who got the money, and who who knows the advantage of of um, who who knows the numbers and knows the advantage of what I'm doing. And that's why a lot of times they look into buy the uh, by the franchises because they they because they they want somebody who's already done it that's proven and they don't want somebody who, who's saying what they're going to do. And, um, just, uh, you no, know, I, I know sometimes I say this and it uh it, it uh it it, it, it it's, I know I say it sometimes. I'm not really hating. I, I'm more in amazement that how people can do this. How somebody can come out and and sell you the same course. For uh for twelve years, sell you the exact same course to change the name on it, exact same course, and, and play the exact same videos, and and you all buy it and uh, and and never get a business up and running, and but they're gonna help you get a business up and running, <laughs> and you all keep buying them, and I I you know I, I have to give I I have to that's that takes great salesmanship, I have to tip my head off to people who can do that. Uh, that that takes a salesmanship that I, I just don't know how to do. I, I just can I, I just when I just don't know how to even start that. But I see that happening uh, to you all, and I, I see right through it. 
and uh, I'll be one. I said, when do they see this stuff is happening? <laughs> but they, they, I've not seen some people buy it. I've seen some people sign up and buy it every time it comes up, and they, they buy it and, and never gets completed because they never put the business up. Uh, but uh, like I say, these guys that, uh, that reach out to me, they, they, they looking to buy a franchise or something that's proven or somebody who's done it. Uh, and sometimes, you know, uh, they, 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 they get sent over to me because I've done it. Uh, and uh, um, and they, they're looking somewhere to put, put their money. So uh, so that's what I'm saying. If you want to get into appliance boot camp, you better get in quick. If you want to get in and get all of the business and get grandfathered, you better jump in now. Um, uh, if this ice cream parlor course take off, I got four people waiting right now in the bot. If this take off, um, it might not, it, it, that might be the end of the grandfather and I start splitting stuff off. Okay. Uh, so, uh, though, but those people who are grandfathered, you grandfather. So, uh, so, uh, I appreciate you all for rocking with us and getting us up and going. But back to the, the story at hand right now with the, uh, is it better to, uh, to send your kids to college or buy them a concession trade? Um, I'll be honest, uh, I, 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 I I think if you have the money to send your kids to college, uh, especially African American, um, this, this right here, I gotta go to African American. Unfortunately for us as African American, um, we use uh, college as a status symbol. Um, still, uh, we, we still, even though you, uh, it don't mean you're making any money, you could be broke as a church and house and house, but uh, we still use that as a status symbol. Uh, sometimes uh, people uh, ask you well, where you go to school at and this and that. So we still use that sometimes as a status and a class. So we don't, don't have, don't mean anything. Some of the brokers people I know got the most degree. But uh, it does allow your kid, your son or your daughter uh, to break into some uh, some areas that unfortunately might still be uh, uh, left off of them in social gathering. And you got nothing to do with career money wise, just in social gathering. Um, also with me, if I, if I hadn't went to college and if I had not have worked as an engineer, you know, I wouldn't be able to debunk, uh, and, and talk, talk trash and say, Hey, you don't make no money as an engineer compared to appliance repair. If I didn't have that up under my hat where I can act, i had done it. <laughs> uh, if I didn't have that under my hat, then somebody could actually come to me and, and, and actually say, well, you should have, you should go to school for engineering, and you could have done. I said, no, I, I, I've done it. It ain't no comparison. So that was one of the things. I, I don't uh, know if y'all remember when we were talking to Judge Joe Brown, where he was saying um, he he still was pushing college, and he was pushing uh uh pushing uh school the engineering. I, I've done it. You can, so you can't tell me about. It. I know how much money they make. It's nothing compared to appliance repair. So that gives me actual validation where I can actually speak that way. And if somebody was like trying to pull that uh, pull that card out of, of about uh, college and, and, and going into corporate America, I've done it. So it, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't work against me. Um, but like I say, because of that too, it does allow me. Uh, um, it does allow sometimes in your earlier years um, to actually get past some type of uh, uh, barriers, that, especially in the African American community socially. Uh, so that's about all it does. <laughs> that's about all it does. Because even now, I'm looking at my daughter uh, with this new thing with COVID, where a lot of stuff got pushed online. The universities have realized, too, hey, it's easier for me to put the courses online. Uh, my daughter is in school this summer, um, but everything is online. So she doesn't have to go to the campus. Uh, she just um, uh, sitting, at, my, uh, sitting at, uh, at the office, sitting upstairs in the office, or sitting at the kitchen table. Uh, is she eating and stuff during her classes? So the so the so-called college experience that we used to get and have that's gone now because the, the kids now are, are not in the classroom with each other. All, are, all of them are online, and so uh, so they they're not even getting the college so-called college experience. Um, uh, so uh, so if you don't have the cash or the money to actually send your be able to pay for your kids to go to school. Without getting into uh, uh, a lot of student loan debt, um, I would say don't send them. Don't send them, especially if they got to take out loans and stuff. Don't send them. Um, you can easily go out and buy a concession trailer, um, or uh, like I say, you can buy that concession trailer 
uh, that concession trailer, you can go out there. Um, I, whoever I think it was, uh, um, uh, I think it was Marcus Thompson or, or somebody who ever done the uh, before twelve challenge on Saturday and put it out there. And uh, my daughter saw that and she sent me her before twelve challenge, and I, I was I was happy and surprised she done it. And uh, and and she, her before twelve, I think he had done like a little over a thousand, like eleven hundred dollars before twelve. And my daughter took her, uh, her, uh, her, uh, her, 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 I think they done like um, four sixty five before twelve. But she was proud that hey, before she was in the before twelve challenge. And so, uh, uh, but she's actually now starting to uh, to see that that hey, uh, for something that that you know that we we went and dragged uh, out behind a a, a a convenience store. Um, you know, we went and dragged that little concession trailer. We went to Virginia um, and, and dragged it out of the convenience store. The uh, concession trailers that we looked at online uh, to get a new one, you're looking at $25,000, $30,000 uh, to get built. Uh, same thing with these, uh, if you're going to do a container uh, container store, container uh, building, it's nothing in that thing going to contain the building. There's <laughs> nothing in it. But I, 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 I asked him about how much y'all cost for the, when it starts at 50000 for a uh, uh, 20 foot and 100000 for a uh, uh, for, uh, 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 40 foot. And I was like, what? <laughs> and I, I, I know it, I, I know it ain't $10,000 in that thing, don't they? It ain't 10000 So I was like, wow, okay, uh, that's no problem. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm just going to buy me one and, and build my own out. Uh, but uh, same thing, uh, we bought that little concession trailer. Uh, for like six thousand, um, I got about fifteen hundred dollars tied up into it now, and uh, and uh, I, I have another, I have another make fifteen hundred. I have like three thousand dollars tied up into it. So with that, uh, she's finding out. Hey, I can go out. She can she can pull that trailer out um, every time we go. It's it, it's got in over uh, four or five hundred dollars in a couple of hours, and she realizing. Hey, I in a couple of hours. I can pull this thing out here and uh and and and, and make my money versus uh going out and and becoming a nurse I have to do a 12 hour shift so let's see how much a nurse uh, we're gonna see how much a nurse makes and this right here for those people who call me and want me to google something for them say they can't find it i never in my life seen people uh all the technology we have today they can't uh they can't find anything i look but i can't find it man Jesus Christ, just Google it. Uh, we're going to see if we can find something. Uh, 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 so we're going to say nursing salary, North Carolina. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, we're going to say, we're going to start at the high end. We're going to do, uh, everybody can see that. Uh, we're going to start at the high end. Uh, 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 RN, let's, let, let's see here. I don't know. See, that's the thing. I don't know all this stuff about uh, LPN, RN, BSN. They got all these things, but I don't know what, what they mean. Um, but we're going to start here with a registered nurse. We're going to say RN. Uh, make about uh, 40, $41. We're going to give them $50. We're going to give them $50. Uh, we give them fifty dollars uh, an hour. Uh, we're gonna say fifty dollars an hour. Put them on the high end. Uh, so we're gonna do fifty times uh, forty. That's two thousand dollars they get, and then we're gonna um, we're gonna. Uh, so they got we got two thousand times. We're gonna say thirty percent of the money gonna be gone before they get it. That'll be six. So they gonna be bringing home about fourteen hundred dollars. About fourteen hundred dollars is what they're gonna be uh, bringing home uh, per week. And my daughter has figured out that hey, uh, for fourteen hundred dollars and uh, and and they working forty hours, uh, she's doing. Uh, let's see here. She's doing 500 uh, from nine nine to one, so that's three hours. 500 divided by three. 
she's uh, <laughs> uh, she's doing one sixty six, one hundred sixty six dollars per hour is what she's doing, and so so and and she's saying, hey, I can I can just go out here and and, and pull my trailer out and just work three or four days out the week and make you now the nurses make their money through overtime and stuff like that. Um, but she's figuring, hey, I can come out here three or four days out the week, and uh, and I can make fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars, make a hundred thousand dollars a year, and 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 have uh have four days to myself. And um, for right now, excuse me, it's costing me right at about sixteen thousand per year, sixteen thousand per year for her to go to school. Okay. It's gonna cost me about sixty-four thousand for uh, for her to uh, to finish school. Uh, so sixty-four thousand, and just say if I uh, if I let's say if I spent twelve thousand dollars on uh, on uh, on on these trailers, that give me uh, we'll say five trailers. Um, and this is what somebody does. Uh, matter of fact. A lot of people do this. Uh, they do. The, they do just. A, uh, they do just. A, they do just the supermarket. I mean the uh, flea market. It's a guy who does popcorn, and all he does is um, he set up at uh, at about four or five different farmers markets. He have the popcorn. And he just have it in these big containers for the kids to scoop it out, and he has somebody at each one of the farmers markets. So just and we're gonna say if I, I take the sixty four thousand about five trailers. And we're just gonna set up. We're just gonna set them out at the farmers market. Um, and shoot, now that I think about, it, I might do it. So we're just gonna set them out at the farmers markets uh, like that. So we got five, and each one of them, uh, each one of them doing uh, doing five hundred dollars a day. So uh, she could do that, and it uh, she can make twenty five hundred dollars just on Saturday morning. And you don't have to go. Now, that's the great thing about it. Uh, you won't even have to go. Uh, so with that, um, uh, we got you, you. You need you need two people in there um, in that trailer. One person working the cash register, the other person scooping. So you got three people. Uh, uh, you got three people in the uh, in the trailer. Uh, you got two people in the trailer. So and you paying them ten dollars an hour, and they only work in three hours. So you got you got uh, you got sixty dollars uh, tied up in there. So sixty times five uh, would would be uh, uh, sixty times five is three hundred dollars. So you could she could make twenty two hundred dollars uh, without even doing any work every weekend. Um, just uh, just by having somebody out there in those trailers. Every weekend, and um, and you make twenty two hundred dollars. Don't have to, <laughs> and don't have to do anything. And uh, and and man, that's that's uh, and you can you do that you do that every um, every week. Uh, and we're gonna multiply that times fifty uh, fifty two. So you can make one hundred and uh, fourteen thousand dollars. Um, and and not have to do any work and and, and be anywhere you want to in the world, and it's, it's real doable uh, because that's what I do. <laughs> I don't know, don't know. I don't um I don't uh I don't actually be out there scooping ice cream and all that. I just monitor it, but I don't I don't have to be there. And uh and you can do the same thing. Um, if you didn't want to spend the uh the, the ten thousand dollars twelve thousand dollars for the concession trailer, you can go out and you can buy um. You can buy cotton candy machines. Uh, this is the one that we have. Uh, we have this one right here. That's the cotton candy machine I I have right there, and that's three hundred dollars. And you can do the same thing with that. And you only need one person there. Uh, and I can take that out to the farmers market. And I can make uh, three, four hundred dollars uh, with that at the farmers market or any place they got kids. If you got kids, someplace around, 
they're gonna buy some cotton candy if you're twirling it out there in front of them you're gonna they're gonna buy cotton candy and so with that um that you don't even need a concession trailer all you need is just a table you need to get your table uh, you need to get uh your cell phone or uh, a little um, uh, tablet or something to take credit cards and a cash drawer. <laughs> that's all you need and you, you sell it for three or four dollars and and you, you you can sell them all day long you can sell cotton candy all day long no problem now you'll need to get you a little generator uh to actually run the cotton candy machine um i use my little tailgater it'll actually run it but you ain't gonna be able to plug nothing else into it just the cotton candy machine and um you you, you go out here and you can make that and that's a great investment for uh for uh your high school kids um Instead of telling them to go down there to uh, McDonald's or whatever to fill out an application, you just say, "Hey, I'm gonna invest this $300 into this, and I'm gonna send you uh, send you out there to the farmers market. I'm gonna send you out wherever wherever they're gonna have some kids and you have some traffic. I'm gonna send you out there and let you let you make your money. You can do birthday parties. You can you can you can go to the actual daycares with that. Uh, you, you, you can, there's so much you can do uh, and make your money." You know, so, um, but yeah, so with me, I honestly think that actually uh, buying a condition trailer or buying a cotton candy machine is a lot better investment than the investment you're doing right now uh, uh, on the actual university. Uh, and the thing about it, when people say, well, you can't get rid of education, once you start running a business, and you all can contest with this. Once you start running that business, uh, you want to be self-educating yourself. You're going to be learning and reading a whole lot of business books, uh, anything you can find uh, about entrepreneurship and stuff like that. So you're going to actually be getting a, a great education. You're going to be reading a lot because what's going to happen, you're going to start running across uh, your mentors and they're going to be start telling you stuff about uh, Napoleon Hill. They're going to be start telling you stuff uh, on Robert Kiyosaki. You're going, you're, going, you're going to be hearing all these names. And you're going to be wanting to read that stuff because you're going to interest you because you're going to hear the same quotes and stuff come up all the time. And you're going to start reading those books so you can have the same knowledge that they have. And uh, you're, going to be, you're going to be well educated and, uh, and ready to go. We're going to read some of the stuff we got going on in the chats right now. Uh, uh, DCNF, what's going on? How you doing, DCNF? Uh, uh, how you doing, Quentin Hodge? Hey, Mike and ABC fam. Greg B said, what's happening, ABC? What's happening? Uh, A9, Dr. Funk, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? BK from the Rockies said, what's up, ABC family and friends? Uh, John Dizak, hey, it's hot here in Memphis. Send me a side to the street. <laughs> yeah, it, it, was, it, was, it was hot here yesterday. It was hot here today, too. There you go. <laughs> DCNL say he did two LGs last week, diagnosed another one today. There you go. Uh, I got one. I got. Uh, I'm gonna do a couple of them the next couple of weeks so I can uh, get Sam up to speed before he heads down to uh, Atlanta. Uh, Dynamic Mike, what's up, Mike? How far do you, um, how far do you recommend traveling before charging before uh, charging trip charge? Um, I, I don't know. Right now with appliance repair, uh, you don't have to. Try, you don't want a lot of windshield time. Um, when I first started out, I used to I used to do Raleigh Durham. Raleigh Durham was about 30, 30 minutes from here. Uh, that wasn't bad. It's, uh, they got a lot of calls there, so you just not driving out for that one call. So I would go out in the morning, spend all my morning there, and work my way back. Uh, so I wouldn't charge a trip charge for that. But there's so much work right now. You don't have to be going all across the country to get it. Now, if you're going and you're going to set up shop there, that's a little bit different. Um, if, if, if you find a, a hot bed and they got a lot of service calls and you're going to put a tech there and you got to go out there and just kind of survey the land first and all that, with that, I'm not really going to be doing a service call uh, because I, I trip charge because uh, I'm just uh, I'm just out there. And most of the time, um, if somebody wants me to go somewhere outside of my service area, it's not worth it because by the time I drive there, I could have done two stops. Um, um, in my service area and don't have to deal with traffic and I don't want to go out there and have to drive back um, So a, a lot of times when you first get started um, And you just want to run service calls service calls service calls 
you're just trying to be busy because in your mind you're coming from I don't know about this this is you but I, I just talk about people in general they coming from a, a, a w2 mindset they think they have to be doing something all day long I got to be busy they don't they don't think thinking and actually studying and 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 and, and um and actually doing the office work is work we think work is I got to be on there and actually uh, uh fixing the machine they don't think uh, uh, you actually studying, uh, getting your schematics, uh, looking up parts and all that stuff is work. Uh, they don't, we don't think like that. Uh, so if you, if you right now have to travel an hour or two hours, I would much rather say you work on your business and actually spend that time actually trying to find uh, calls within your, uh, within your area code, your zip code. Now, if you're someplace where you say, ain't nobody here, you know, it's broke, ain't it? Ain't, ain't, ain't nobody here is barren. You know, if you're out there in the middle of the desert somewhere, now's the time to maybe think about relocating uh, someplace where there is uh, is some hot beds uh, places. You know, you can you can you can do like uh, you know, nobody if you if you just determine out this is a family ranch and I want to live on my family ranch blah 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 blah. You can do like uh, like uh, a lot of a lot of these uh, uh, traveling nurses or. Or people who do it corporate America, you know, just rent you a extended stay or someplace in that area, drive out there uh, and, uh, and and stay uh, maybe two or three days, and then, then drive back. You no, know, you, know, you can stay in an area that has a. Uh, see, that's the thing too. You no, know, uh, what's the because you the business owner. If 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 if, if you don't want to say like for instance, if I, if I'm living a place and I know it's uh, uh, I'm here in uh, in. Uh, and what you call in in Clayton, North Carolina. But I know I could go over into Virginia and get all the calls I want and make twice the money. Uh, I would actually rent me a extended state and just go out there four days out the week. And 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 I, I might run service calls uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then come on back home, be home Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, people do that for corporate America all the time. And they think it's a great, great thing. You can do that. And go out there and just run those service calls those days. Or just go out there Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and then come on back and be home Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Three days running. If you're out there three days running uh, running service calls, doing uh, five service calls a day, that's a, that's a lot of money. And, and then come on back. So, uh, um, you know, there's many ways you got to look at this thing. Don't think you, you trapped in at one place. Uh, there's many play, ways you can actually get out there and make that money. And you the boss. You, you set your own time and your own hours. Uh, Paul Brown, what's up, Mike and ABC family? Hey, how you doing? Uh, what's going on, Quentin Hodge? Uh, Reapplies, all right. Having tons of fun, but this warranty to work is wild, wild west. Nearly all the 210 work I'm getting is behind text that's collect deductibles and totally disappear. What gives? Yeah, that, that uh, uh, John Boy and Billy been doing that for years. Welcome to the party. Uh, <laughs> tell them to Google how to use Google. I gonna have to. Yep, open source research, no doubt. Uh, yep, Google uh, is my best friend. Yep. Hey, what's going on, Terry, the electrician? Uh, Ritter Appliance. Hey, what's up? Hey, how you doing? Uh, Miss Phoenix, ninety one. Yes, sir. Those hands on internships are necessary. Yeah, it is. Uh, that's what pharmacy students do. Uh, as far, uh experiential learning okay there you go yeah um but that's what we, we're looking to do with the applause boot camp um i have i have uh, uh two companies right now who say hey, yeah we're going to push this thing and and, and uh, get it out there going uh, so uh i'm excited about it i've reached out to uh to uh several people i know in education they're reaching out to their people and if we can get that up and moving i think it'd be really good reapply like the best nursing pathway, in my opinion, uh, I've worked in family medicine and primary care since 2002. Is advanced practice nursing, uh, registered nurse, doctors without the cost of seven years of training. Trust me. Okay. 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 They networking. Um, okay. Uh, they go Terry. I worked at the CDC as a senior in the hospital half a day. Yep, yep, they used to do that all the time. Um, I took uh, uh, Victor, so I had to go to the uh, go to the classroom a half a day and do electrical wiring. 
Uh, and we, we well, matter of fact, we fixed the, we used to fix all the electrical problems at the school. Uh, so that, that was our thing. We, we, we changed light fixtures and added receptacles, done, done everything there. Paul Vaughn, great idea, Mike. It was called DCT, and I worked for my dad's second half of the day. Okay, there you go. Thanks, Paul. Uh, Miss Phoenix, now with time to focus the attention on young. They want to learn a better way that will generate income instead of draining their wallets like college. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, um, yeah, I, I, we, we got to go with the young. Um, we got we to gotta, gotta, gotta have fun for the next generation. Um, unfortunately, well, I have to take that back because applying boot camp wouldn't be nothing without the 35 to 55 year old. But I, sometimes I'm wondering if we done, um, if we done, if we done fished all the waters, <laughs> I wonder sometimes we have fished all the waters um, because uh, the ones now it's hard to get them. It's hard to get them off the get them off the boat. It is hard to get them off. Uh, yeah, please hit the like button. All right. Okay. Hey, networking. Hey, what's going on, appliance boss? Uh, um, also, um. Uh, Applause Boss, uh, you, DCNF, and um, Miss Ward, and a couple more of you all, uh, I'm going to be reaching out to you all. You know we're going to be having that uh, uh, conference day. And um, um, I was talking, and I, I, I want to get you all to actually do a class down there, if you all don't mind. Uh, so uh, I'm going um, to be sending you all some, um, I, matter of fact, I'm going to be calling you all. Um, if, um, I don't think I have your information, um, Marcus. If you would uh, actually uh, uh, message me, uh, uh, DM me your phone number if you if you don't mind, or email. I want to reach out to you because, um, um, like I tell them, I say you all are the people who need to be teaching <laughs> at these at these uh, conventions and, and conferences and stuff. So you all are doing it, and you all are right where uh, y'all in the middle of this stuff that these guys are doing. Uh, especially some of the business classes and stuff. You all just fresh came through. Um, I, I've done it 20 some years ago, and I'm on the other end of it. You all are, 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 are just walking up those paths and cutting new trails for them. And um, I think that you all need to be out there uh, teaching um, uh, at, at these conventions and, um, and at these uh, conferences and stuff that we go to. Uh, so uh, I'm actually pushing, and I want to uh, see if you all are interested. Um, because uh, you all are the ones that uh, people want to talk to. When, they, when people call, I tell people all the time, when people come here and they call up here, uh, they want to talk to y'all. They don't want to talk to Mike Sneed anymore. So, uh, so uh, I'm going to reach out. To, if you send me that this week, I'm going to reach out to you all. Um, I need to uh, talk back with, uh, uh, with Reggie and Mona, but uh, uh, I, I, uh, I told them I'm going to reach out to you all and, and see if we can get y'all to actually uh, – Start teaching some stuff down there. So. And we should be able to do it. If you know, if, if you're not, I have to, uh, like I said, I have to verify it with them. But if, if you're not able to get down to Atlanta at that time, um, I'm pretty sure we can set something up virtually where you all can do it virtually. Uh, Picture Man 63, good evening, Mike and ABC family. Mike, did you get the job? Uh, uh, you did a great job on that trip. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. Um, is, uh, matter of fact, is, is, is that the, uh, the rap place getting wrapped right now as we speak? Okay. Uh, okay. Thanks. Uh, BSN is the highest. Okay. Uh, CNA, LPN. Okay, this is the way it goes. CNA, LPN, RN, BSN. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, all right, now I got it. LPN is after one year of school, RN is two years, BSN is four years. Okay, all right, all right, thanks. Uh, nurses and most health, health healthcare professionals work. Yeah, they do. Okay, uh, 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 Marcus says, uh, I worked in hospitals, and those nurses work for that money, plus all types of overtime. Okay. Okay. Uh, picture man said most shipping containers in Dallas, Fort Worth area come from the railroads. Okay. 
the networking. Um, okay, John did that. I was going to be sent to nursing school by the Navy, but got out on medical discharge first. Okay. Okay. Yeah, numbers don't lie. Okay. Uh, the networking. Uh, uh, John Dizak. Uh, hot dog stands and lemonade stands are great ideas. Too. Yeah, they are. They are. They are. Um, I saw uh, this past uh, weekend, um, uh, my son and daughter was out there uh, in their, their ice cream stand. Um, and um, I saw... Uh, uh, Jesus Christ, I can't think of his name right now. He's uh, right up the street in um, uh, Haskin, Haskin. Uh, oh, God, I can't think of his name. But he, he does the real estate stuff. Um, and his daughter had popcorn and, and ice and lemonade there. Uh, I can't think of his name, but he, he does a lot with uh, real estate and entrepreneurship. Matter of fact, uh, I was going to reach out to him uh, and with his daughters and stuff and kind of help them with their popcorn. Okay, CPA taught him a lot. Yep, definitely self self educating yourself. Okay, there you go. Uh, eight nine dot the phone man. I keep my area to twelve. Okay, 15, there you go. Uh, yeah, straight facts, Mike. Okay. Um, Flair, when are we supporting? Um, uh, Flair, when are we supporting more black doctors? Um, uh, what do you mean by that, M. Sway? Uh, about supporting more black doctors? Um. You talking about uh, medical doctors or uh, dentists? Uh, what what are you talking about? Um, my uh, one of my good friends, he was a dentist. Uh, he still is a dentist. Uh, matter of fact, I got uh, I got uh, several friends that are dentists. Um, but my good friend was a dentist, and he sold his practice two years ago. And one of the reasons he sold it was because of, of um, I, I I would think. Uh, um, my other friend, um, Eric, that actually, the one who owns the actual uh, retirement center, I, I showed you all we are doing for the veterans, right? Around, um, I think because of Eric, maybe some even for myself and other people who was running businesses, and he he was he, he told me straight up, he said he was tired of going to that office every day putting his hand in somebody's mouth, and 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 we out here, you no, know, uh, making pretty much the same amount of money and. And didn't have to do that. And we've, we've, we've been retired for the last uh, almost uh, 15, 20 years. And so he sold it. He sold it and he, he does a lot more with real estate now. Um, but uh, uh, I think if somebody had the capacity to become a medical doctor and stuff like that, I, I, I would like for them to do it. Um, but uh, I don't know. Uh, and then uh, how, many, how many do we have? Uh, there's not that many around here. Uh, unless you're gonna count the the Africans and and, um, and, and and the people, the Africans and the Caribbeans, uh, other than that, not many African American doctors around here. Okay, uh, Marcus say he's good. Okay, there you go. Both of them good. Uh, we appreciate that. Uh, um, him and DCNL say they they down with it. Yeah, I think you all uh, uh, would, uh, would do an excellent job. And you all, uh, uh, yeah, it'd be an excellent job because I want to go to the class y'all y'all do too. So uh, those are the classes that I want to go. Uh, next on Matt, do you teach the five banking account business plan, third party uh, warranty, marketing, drive? Yeah, the drive bank you still get the five um, banking account business plan. Um, not many third party warranty companies going to do drive bank cleaning. They look at that. As something that the customer is supposed to do, so they they don't cover preventive maintenance. Uh, but yeah, you get the marketing also. When is the book coming out? Uh, every time I get ready to release the book, uh, I get another. I get another. Uh, I, how can you say? It? I get another. Uh, I, I get another way I can capitalize. <laughs> I can capitalize off of it by putting something else into it. So what happens? Uh, like I say, with this stuff coming up with the high schools and stuff like that, and other people coming on, uh, the universe has, is, you know, as they say, God got a funny sense of humor. Uh, just when I think it's about ready to go, 
I said, oh, oh, I can, I can, I can capitalize a little bit more on this thing. Uh, so I, I uh, if somebody tells me all the time, uh, squeezing all the, uh, Mona, this is Mona <laughs> saying all the time, squeezing all the, uh, 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 the, uh, the butter from the duck, she says, or something like that. I'm going to squeeze all the butter out of this duck. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm holding on to it. It's, it's about ready to come. Chris Haskins, there you go. Thanks. Yeah, Chris Haskins. Yeah, he's he good. He's good. They uh, networking. Uh, but yeah, so uh, so look out on Monday the actual um, uh, ice cream parlor. Uh, the people who already bought Applies Boot Camp, they already have the ice cream parlor um, business. But I um, I left it at the end saying, hey, I wanted to see how it is to go mobile, and I told them I was going to go mobile. And that's why I hadn't really released it because I wanted to see what would be the difference between the brick and mortar and the mobile. So uh, now we've got the mobile component in there. Um, also, it's going to be in there. It's going to be the actual uh, uh, container uh, component. And it's gonna actually you're going to have the, uh, you're gonna have the actual engineer drawings and stuff like that. So if you go get a uh, container, um, you can be able to give that to the actual uh, inspection department and get it signed off because uh, I have an actual engineer who actually uh, drew it and everything. You will still probably, you still have to get your site plan because your site plan is going to be based upon uh, your site, but you wouldn't have to have the, you wouldn't have to have the actual uh, container uh, drawn back out for uh, for an ice cream parlor or a snow cone. Uh, so, but you'll, you'll get all of that. Um, also, what we're going to have, we're going to have a way for you. Uh, I'm hoping uh, I have a way for you all to actually come and actually help set it up. Uh, so I'm looking at that now. I got to see how involved the, uh, the inspection department is going to be with that uh, uh, thing. Uh, I know the people who build them out. All they do is just stud it up, and you got to put your fixtures and stuff in it when you get there. They just they just stud it up. Uh, so um, if uh, so, I'm gonna see how far the inspection department will be with the way I do it. But they allow me to do that where. Uh, they, all I got to do is make sure that the outside is ready to hook up and they don't worry about the inside as long as it's through the drawings and stuff of the, of the engineer. And uh, I have a place where you all can come and we can actually set it up together while we while we are here. But once again, um, I appreciate you all actually uh, tuning in with me. This Thursday, we're going to have the Rockin' on Rayford, the concert out front. So I'll be out there doing that. I also will be at the uh, ice cream parlor, so you all see that. Uh, we come in there. Um, you're going to uh, see me this week. Um, I'm actually working on the container uh, uh, with the engineer. Um, I'm going out to actually get my, um, get the uh, get the uh, get the container and getting the engineer out to do the site plan, all of that. I'm setting up to get the, uh, get the houses pushed down this week. So uh, um, you're going to see videos of all that stuff coming up. Um, so I really appreciate it, man. I'm telling you, uh, 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 I just love it. Um, yeah, that's also line of ABC alumni uh, stars uh, to teach, Mike. Do you did you mention Greg B and Lamar? Yeah, I I, I said the same thing with them. I, um, I have what's the call? I uh, I said the same thing. Uh, so I'm gonna reach out to all of them. But what what we would like to do? I tell you what, uh, do do me this favor. I said uh, I wanted uh, Lamar, uh, Miss Ward, and Terry to uh, to do their thing. Uh, I wanted uh, I, I I I tell you what I I said I wanted uh, I wanted Lamar, Miss Ward, and uh, Terry to uh, to do their Tech the Titans thing uh, if they if they're interested in doing it. I said I would like for uh, uh, DCNF to actually do the actual um, uh, third party warranties. Uh, just go over the algorithms and, and how you interact with third party warranties. Um, I wanted actual uh, 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 Marcus do some road to a uh, road to a million and just tell us his process or how he how he's getting to be uh, do a million in a year. I uh, like him to do that. Um, and I wanted um, um, do stuff like with Greg B, Slick. Um, uh, all all the all stars. If uh, if uh, because we don't read uh, uh, all all the personalities that you all know. Uh, A nine Dr. Funk, if he come, all the personalities that you all know. 
we just do a, a round table where you all just can come there and just uh, talk to them. Uh, just talk, to, just talk to them and uh, about the industry and 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 how they how how they how they doing it and everything. Um, so uh, that's uh, that's what uh, I would like like for you all to uh, actually do. Because uh, I can be honest with you all, you all are the you all are the industry leaders. Uh, you are the industry leaders out here that everybody is looking at. And I'm not telling you all they looking at you all. Uh, they are looking at you all. <laughs> I did not realize. Uh, I'm gonna say this, then I'm gonna get out. I did not realize uh, how much they are watching you all online. This, 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 this. Not say they are. I'm talking about major companies. How much they are watching you all online? What you all are typing? Um, uh, what you all are uh, saying <laughs> in your videos? I, I I I get on conf I, I go into these uh, meetings and these conference calls, and Lord, I, I have to be careful. <laughs> I go into these meetings and these conference calls, and sometimes something it seems like they're a little hesitant, and uh, they ask me, "We saw so and so type this. How do you think they feel about us <laughs> this way?" I'm like, "They fine. Just reach out to them." Well, they 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 they, they don't know how to come at you all. Yet. Nobody wants to make y'all mad or get on y'all bad side. Uh, so they looking at they looking at the stuff that you all are typing. I'm, I mean, some they gotta have somebody assigned because some of the stuff I, I don't even see it. I said, where y'all see that at? Well, on, on this video here, this this this, uh, we saw this get typed. Uh, and so they looking at stuff that you all are typing. They looking at stuff that you all are saying. They're they're watching y'all. Uh, they're watching y'all, and you all are the next leaders. You all are the next leaders. And um, I'm telling you, man, um, uh, if, if, you know, I, I want to get my hats off to Encompass uh, and Reggie. They, 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 are, they are really trying to, uh, uh, they're really pushing uh, to, 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 to be the leaders with you all. They're really pushing and, and making an effort to say they want to they wanna be the uh, part supplier. And they, 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 they see you all as the, as the next generation. And they they they're, they're trying to line up with you all, uh, so um, and I, I I I appreciate them doing that. You know, like I say, I, I tell everybody, hey, I'm I'm, I'm almost done on this run. <laughs> no, I, I'm on the back side of my run, and you guys are taking it off, and you guys are the next Dean Landers. You all are the next uh, Mike Stats, Captain Two Head, back in the day, Paul McDonald. It, it, it's you all that that that, that are there. Uh, you all. Uh, uh, EJ, uh, TMM, Brother B, uh, 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 Slick, DCNF, Marcus, <laughs> uh, because we don't read. All of you all are the next gen. Uh, these, you, uh, you, you all are the next generation. Y'all have came in, and uh, and you all are the people that people want to see. Um, you know, um, you know. Uh, how can I say this? No, they don't want to. Uh, you no, know, I, I remember the award ceremonies. You know, you always, you know, Stevie Wonder was always, uh, 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 Stevie and Luther was always safe to, to, to put out there. And every time you turn on an award ceremony, they got Stevie Wonder singing and perform. You know, good Lord, Stevie, uh, get some, get some new people, uh, get some new people out here, some new blood. We want, we want to see Run DMC, LL Cool J. We wanted to see them coming up and performing on stage, but they pushed Stevie Wonder out in front of them, Stevie Wonder out in front of them. And so, uh, but this, what we was trying, you no, know, get Run DMC, LL out there. We wanted to see that, but that's what you all are. Y'all the new breed that people want to see. Everybody respect the, the pioneers that put it together. But uh, you, they, they, people have taken notice that it's you all that, uh, uh, that, that run this industry. Is, is you all that run it, and they know the control and the power that you all have with that. That's why I tell you all, if, if, if you if you if you want to do this thing, uh, get on that YouTube. They know the power and the influence you all have on that YouTube, and y'all have people scared. Y'all have people literally scared to actually. They they're literally scared because they know in a, in an instance you all can change the tide on. Them. 
and they are and, and people people are people third party warranty company is going to do right by y'all they're going to do right by y'all because they, they 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 know the influence the impact that you all have i didn't realize it i didn't realize the impact that we had at appliance boot camp and with this youtube thing until recently they know it they know one one word from one bad word from dcnl one bad word from marcus miss ward terry lamar and and and, and that's it y'all the, the calls are, that just like you all get scared when the calls are out they get scared when the contractors stop trying to sign up and don't want to take calls and they don't want to be in on that bad side of you uh, they don't want to be they ask on the on the on the on the back end they ask can you reach out to them so we can have a talk <laughs> if something if somebody has said something that uh not reached out to a couple of people when somebody has said something that they wanted to clear up and, and and maybe get the person to retract some stuff they asked me on the back end do you mind reaching out to them uh, so we can have a, a, a discussion to clean this up not i've not done that for them so they they are they are looking at you all and um uh, like i say i I appreciate everything that you all have done. Uh, this appliance repair field is in great hands. It's in great hands with what you all are doing. Um, and uh, I'm just so happy to be a part of it. And uh, and, and to, to, to now, to be able to take a seat <laughs> and watch. You know, uh, like like, like I, I told you, I, I, I'm happy now to sit down and, and go, go into the stands and watch and, and be a fan. I'm, I'm looking forward to this in conference day. Especially if you all getting up, uh, getting up there and speaking and stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. And just look at the draw um, that you all gonna get. Just think if, if you if you got all those heavy hitters there, if you uh, you got a, a, a Miss Ward there, you got DC and L there because we don't read. You got Lamar. You got Terry the electrician. You got Slick. Yeah, if we, if we got 89 Dr. Funk. We got Greg B out there. You you got. Yeah, uh, you, you, know, you got Marcus out there. You got you got all of these heavy hitters that everybody look at every day. And everybody's there looking at them. Uh, and that, that 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 right there is is, is a is a is a draw. If um if um if if anybody was if I was if I was in charge of USA. Or if I was in charge of PSA, um, any one of those, you all would be the people I'd be going after. I'd be honest. You, it would be you all who I would have out there speaking. Because <laughs> if they wonder why the why the the uh, the question call is falling off, because you got you got to get you got to get the people that everybody's listening to there. No, you got you got to get uh, EJ and and TK out there talking. Uh, you got uh, they had brother B out there uh, last year, uh, but you got to keep getting brother B out there. You got you got to find a way to to bring Mike check out. You got to find a way to get Mike check, and even uh, even get Cornerstone out. You know you got you got to bring you got you 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 got to find a way to bring all those guys out. Nobody nobody seen them. Just like if if PSA or or somebody say hey we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna pull Mike check out the woods. You know we're gonna. Or we're gonna pull uh 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 pull uh, uh uh cornerstone the guy from cornerstone out out the woods and stuff uh, and so if they, if they were to start pulling those guys out of there um or i don't know if Uncle breaker Uncle harry is still doing it but just pull him out um uh because uh, a lot of us uh regardless of how people felt a lot of people uh came through and, and got information from them but just bring them out and be all encompassed with everybody, and that's what Encompass is doing. Encompass is, uh, is, is going out, pulling. Uh, Reggie is going out there, pulling, pulling people in there to pull those draws. And uh, like I say, you're gonna be in Atlanta, and you're gonna you're gonna have all those people there. Man, it, it's it's lights out. It's lights lights out. <laughs> uh, Mike, this sounds like your farewell speech. Nah, nah, it's not my farewell speech. But uh, uh, I, I went to call. I have to. Uh, I have to acknowledge. You, you know, it, 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 at some point in time, you have to acknowledge that some people have that people have surpassed you, and they got more to offer. You know, you know. So it, it, when that happens, you 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 step out and let them go. 
you let them go, you know, and let them do their thing. Because, uh, like I say, you got you got markets in return a million dollars, and you know, in a couple of years, and uh, and he's young, and he looks like you, and 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 and, and he, he's doing it. He got the business acro and all that, and um, and you you got to put them out there. You got to put them out there and let them teach. You know, because when I started the business, it was totally different. It was totally different. You know, that was twenty some years ago when I started it. But uh, now you got you got you got you got them out here, and and, and like I say, you uh, you got you got you got Mona out here, you got Miss Ward, you got Bianca, you got Mel, you got, you got all of these women out here now who's running businesses and doing it. So you you, you got you got to make room for them. You you, you 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 don't have no choice but to make room for them. So you, you got a lot of stuff happening that um, I think in the next year or two uh, is going to be really, 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 really exciting. Uh, if the conference keep keep doing what they're doing and, and, and pushing it, it's going to be really good. So uh, once again, I want to thank everybody for watching. And I'll be back on Thursday. Um, and um, I, I, I'm going to be reaching out uh, to uh, to you all. Uh, so uh, there's several of y'all. I don't want to keep calling everybody names. Um, but uh, it's several you all um, I'm going to be reaching out to and uh, see if you all be willing uh, to come down. We uh, we, we got a, a tentative date, uh, but I like always, I got to get everything uh, squared up with Reggie uh, and, and, and Compass and all of them because we have it at their facilities. Uh, so we got uh, to get everything, uh, you know, make sure that it's okay with them. And, um, and we, we're going to all, uh, I, I'm looking forward to it, looking forward to it. Um, once again, thank you all, and I'll see you all on Thursday.